Okay. Now, let's go to do a little shooting. We'll get real wild now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, just one in the center. You take the knife out. I'm crippled up pretty well. I got. I couldn't get my bow down today. My leg is in bad shape and. But I, uh, I just never practice anymore. I don't have to take this. It'll take me all day to get them, get them out. Well, we're known as the shoot hubbles, and my wife isn't feeling very well, and uh, a friend of mine just came in from up north, and she said she would set the targets. This is the first time she's done it, so we'll try to give it a little idea of what we've done for a good many years when we were booked as the shooting hubbles. We're using the Remington rifles. I bought this and uh, these two in 1946 when I got out of World War II, the same year I went as buckle and rock riding at a big rodeo. So we always take a warm-up shot with the rifle, kind of checking the sights, see if it's okay, up there, and boom. Now, right there, I want to see just how far I was off. I was off a little bit again, now I'm going to bring it in again, and zero in, right there. I wanted to get one under left, one under right, and then get it in the center to see that the sights hasn't been hit in any way. Okay, we're going to try it a little different now. We're going to get another one on there. Just going to try an old Annie Oakley shot that they've done at the Buffalo Bill Show for years. And that is to get it in the right position. Don't get in the way, Candy. Get it on dead center and... Okay. <laughs> oh, knee's about to give out. But that's an old shot that Annie Oakley done for a long, long time. Now we're going to try the old revolver. And we'll try a straight shot when we get the target up there. And a warm-up shot. These are Harrington Richardson revolvers. They're made in Massachusetts. And they hold nine shots. Okay. Sorry. And they kind of call this the warm-up shot. And over there. Boom. Now we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to try something I haven't done in quite a while. Try to get two targets, one on the bottom and one on top. I haven't done this in a long, long time. I'm going to try it. Two at one time. Rifle and the revolver. Rifle and the revolver. You said one on the bottom and one on the top. I'm not going to guarantee this one now because it's awfully, awfully hard. Get two at the same time. Got to be right up close together. One time. Be sure. All right. That was pretty good. I haven't done that in a long time. You got to be dead center and you can't move very much. Okay, here's a good one. We got a blindfold here and I want uh, Brandon to blindfold the gentleman with the camera. Just yes, put sir. This, put it on him so he can't see it. Dead center. Won't it make it kind of hard for me to shoot the video? No, no yeah, well, but I want to show you that. It's All right. Oh. You know that what you have to do is get the blindfold and put it on me. Let me face the target first. And I'm going to do this as she blows the whistle. i got to get this. All right, now, would you get your whistle, please? No, it's got to be right up to that colored target. It was yellow, I believe, wasn't it, or something? Yeah. Blow it right close to it. I'm not going to shoot you. Closer yet. Right close. Stand back. All clear. Clear. All clear. Nobody around. Blindfold shot. All right. Another one I haven't done in a long time. 
All right, we're going to try to take the flame from the candle. Now, it might be too windy, but if everything goes right, we're going to try to take the flame from the little candle. So it's got to hit that little birthday candle. Okay, camera, action, and... Good shot. <laughs> flame from a candle. <laughs> You can't show off here much. <laughs> that was a good one. Anyhow, yeah. let's split a bullet. Uh, a target on the left, target on the right, the knife in the middle. Okay. The knife. Now, Candy, this is the first time she's done this, so... Uh, she's doing a great job. She's doing a good job. And we pay her good. Two and a half. Two meals and a half a night's sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we got to hit it dead center. And it'll split it in about... Should, Go about two and a half inches one way, two and a half inches the other, and the knife stays in the board. Okay? Uh-huh. It's a long show with the help we have. <laughs> All right. Everybody out of the way. Do it one time. Aim and fire. How'd you do that? <laughs> in a dead center. Unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know, but... So you're hitting the knife and the knife... Yeah, and the knife over the head. And the knife hits it, and it's pressed it over the back. It goes two and a half, three, four, three. You've got to practice on the distance, you know, and the type of thing. So you're going to have to get a long rifle, get back under the shorts, and stay closer. It is easy to get the shorts. Same thing, you know, they used them shooting down the years ago. The same old days, same old bullets. But nowadays, they don't allow it to get shooting down the But that's the way it was. And you always make sure your rifle is not cocked because sometimes you get in the habit of cocking it and you put it down and someone get hurt. So that's uh, that, I guess. Uh, anything else we can do for you? Let somebody like they're learning how to rope out front.